personally, what I had to do when the recognition, I mean, it was like, what's going on? This can't be real. And when I drove up there and then finally saw that, no, this was coming down on top of us. It was like, all of a sudden, put your emotions aside and just get focused. You know what you have to do, do it. Work the plan, don't think about it. But recognizing that this may be it. It is on top of us. We did not have any warning. So all we could do is react, take what we needed and go. Pulling down an unmitigated driveway to an unmitigated structure and you're in the emotional toil of an advancing fire front or embers or, or just all of the emotional content with that. You want to do a good thing and you pull down and they haven't done the pre-work to enable you to be successful, it, it's heartbreaking. And so then you make that decision that this is not a defensible space and you know in your mind that you write it off and you move on to something more defensible. I had done a lot of work weeks and weeks of mitigation, all directed by wildfire partners. When we left, I had seconds to get out of here, and all I could do was turn it over and hope that our work would be successful. Turns out, it was even better than my highest expectations. And I think that's really because we took our time and did all the work that was necessary. We thought we were gonna have to clear cut the whole property. And it turns out we didn't have to do that at all. And especially all the aspens around the property, which served to protect us. And they did protect us. They saved, actually saved our land. You know, the Smokey, Smokey the Bear prevention idea is kind of very 50s. And uh, we now have to think about living with fire. And Wildfire Partners, helps that process. To learn how to live with fire is more important than just hoping that somebody else is gonna take care of putting it out. So as the fire started, the wind shifted to its predictable pattern, came right towards the house. And because of the low uh, fuel load around the house, the fire literally just followed the fuel around uh, the zone two sections that were, were mitigated and never actually came to the house itself. So the result of that mitigation left um, enough greenery that we have a very nice uh, landscape while the forest has been completely destroyed around the house. It's very easy to get attached to trees and especially mature trees. So it takes a little bit of effort to think through what it's gonna look like if those trees do catch fire. Wildfire Partners, I think, to some degree, the benefit of it is self-evident if you look at the Cold Springs fire. I knew that a number of my neighbors uh, on the road that I live on had participated in that, and then there were some homes that I didn't know had participated. And I can tell you that I hadn't participated, but being the fire chief, I thought to some degree, maybe I knew as much as Wildfire Partners. And I think the benefit is that even having been in the fire business for 26 years, it is a fresh perspective on your property that it's a different set of eyes that looks not just at your fuels and, and horizontal and vertical continuity and trees and shrubs and bushes, but also the building construction elements and the other pieces that they look at. Being a professional in the business, uh, I'm gonna enter Wildfire Partners. I'm gonna have a, a, a second set of eyes come look at my property. And I think the trick is that mitigation is, you know, always present, it's never ending, and the trick is how do you efficiently use your time, and I think Wildfire Partners will help prioritize you know, where you spend your efforts. I would highly encourage everybody to do Wildfire Partners, and if you have considerations about it, keep in mind that nobody is gonna make you do anything. It's all voluntary, so you'll learn all kinds of ways to protect your house that um, work, they work. After the fire, looking at how things went down, I am certain that um, our house was savable because of the work we had done with Wildfire Partners. If you live in the mountains, you need Wildfire Partners. 
So anybody who's interested in living in the mountains, call them.